Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery in the backyard looking for bamboo skewer. You are looking at a pan of black paint. It is not a deep pan of black paint, but I'm going to use it in a new way. Actually, I really want to be able to use this in a vertical orientation this time. And what I'm going to do is something similar to what I did last time, only different. I put a lot of paint on here last time using my OXO omelet turning spatula and tipping the canvas to try and tilt it so I could, there are my glasses, so I could get a sort of a different, a heavy duty effect. Yes, I see that thing. Anyway, I'm going to try and be quick and grab all the stuff that doesn't belong, which is nice, something nice that the OXO omelet turning spatula does. It doesn't just spread paint really well. It sp spreads it so well in such a nice even layer that you can't fail but to see anything that doesn't belong in there. So, I kind of want to experiment the first time out with just shovelfuls of that black paint and tip it. You see that thing? I'm almost covered. I seem to be having a little bit of trouble making it an even coat today now that I've touted how wonderful it is so well, but uh, it's warm. It's just not so warm that it should be disagreeable. All right, so we're pretty good now, and it will be resolved no matter what, because I'll be tipping this in any case. Whatever paint is going over the edges is fine. That spatula goes in the bucket. I've never done exactly what I'm about to do before, and I'm really curious as to see how it goes. And if I need to add other paint, where's my shovel? I had a red shovel. There it is. So, I'm going to take a shovel full of paint. And a shovel full of paint. And a shovel full of paint. That didn't work. Okay. Well, never mind. So whatever I get in between is fine. You need to start with it flat on the canvas or you don't get that same effect. But it doesn't matter because it looks like my theory might be correct. And that's a good thing. I like that. <laughs> I like it when my theories are correct. Let's just complete this down here as best I can. I'm not really dragging it up the canvas, and I suppose I definitely could. So I'm going to leave that shovel over there for right now, someplace where it's not too much in my way. And I'm going to tip this the wrong way up. Let everything run a little. I see it's going to town up that way. And I'm going to tip it down again toward that edge catcher. I'm not going to hold it on it because I might want the residuals. And you can see there's some beautiful cells on there from the last painting I did. And I'm going to let that all drain off because I'm going to use it again. Because I know I can use my OXO omelet turning spatula. I have a second one on the, waiting in the wings. I'm going to rock that for a second so I can cover my end. See, I got stripes on the end now. Now, we don't know what's going to happen, but we're desperate to find out. And we have chain and basting brushes. And I thought it would be nice to dip the chain into the black paint, but I think we're going to start just going down and up. And we're going to use the residuals, whatever they happen to be, gray, white, black, to pull more paint. We're going to go in both directions. We're going to make a very graphic looking design. I'm going to let some paint flow over the edge and not worry about it. I'm going to go down from the top even, because I can probably go back up there later. So that's interesting so far.
I like that loop. I like the white as much as I like the black. I just wanted the vertical version so I could have a little more room to play, you know? And I drag in both directions because I get a different quality of gray or black or white or I just get a different version from the different area. And plus I can break up or make or attempt to make things cohesive. I don't want to destroy all my white. I don't, I don't, I really don't. It really actually depends on how much paint you're dragging with you. I definitely thought about adding gold. best reason to have the white is to drag the black through it and vice versa. I like to try and make some skinny tops. I had another plan <laughs> that included dipping swipe rags in and I could probably still try that. I might. I love it when there's white residual paint on the in the chain and we go right into the black. It's going to be dramatic at least. We got some cells popping. I don't use any silicone in my mix. Just deco out pouring medium and Floatrol. want something over here. I don't know if it's a good thing or not to let me have something over there. Yes, I did sort of back dribble. That's okay. Because I can still do all kinds of other things. I'm still using only chain. And that was not the plan. <laughs> and you know, as you're doing one of these, if you're doing one of these, you can always drop some more white in where the black is and black in where the white is. Maybe I should show you that. Let's grab some paint for over on that edge. And drag it down and blend it up. And lift it a little so it makes a nice little tendril. Alright, so what did I offer to try? Last time I used a skewer and and the chain. Add a few spirals, a few things hanging off this or that or the other thing. I can dip my skewer in. I'm going to have to touch up my edges. I can push, pull, or drag with the skewer, and it makes a completely different mark. That was more like a swipe sideways. Because there was white paint already in the background, it'll come through when I agitate and add some black. And that's cool. add some leaves. Paint flows to paint, so the, the fact the background is white means as I scrape through, we're going to be able to 
unearth some of that white and mix it with the black and create more interesting cells still. I want some black right there. I don't mind my waggles. The waggles are cool. I can stick my skewer in and I can coat it with paint. I can move it here or there. I can actually roll it right down the side, which I kind of need to do because there's no paint right there right now. I can drag it down through and create a whole different section at the bottom, which is kind of cool, actually. I can just very gently poke it up through. Then I can go to the other end. Maybe. And use the paint I've got to create something new up there. I don't think that bird is my, <laughs> it's my biggest fan because he definitely does that every time I try and make a movie. Yes, you're loud. You're so loud. I wonder if you can hear that. I think it must be time to stop and tell you guys to shop my Amazon link if you're inclined to help me out and find some really awesome cool stuff. Canvases and paints and pens and cameras and tripods and turntables and even ball chain most recently I put on there. A nice spool. It's like $10 a foot, excuse me, it's like a dollar a foot at the hardware store so um, the one on my page is a good deal for sure. So all that's pretty cool. And I'm liking it a lot. And I'm not unhappy that I did it. But I'm OCD at the moment, so I'm having a hard time stopping myself from continuing. Because I love the black and white. I really do. And I'm going to do one of these with gold really shortly. And as long as I've got paint on my skewer, it makes me want to pull it or drag it. Now we haven't torched, and I do need to torch to make sure there are no bubbles in the paint, even though I have manipulated the paint to the point where I probably don't need to worry about it. I figure once you, uh, once you agitate the paint enough, there's no way the bubbles are still there, but it's not worth taking a chance on. It's always a good idea to make sure that there aren't any bubbles, because they leave little craters. So I should also tell you, right before I make a humongous amount of noise and torch, that um, you can find Pinterest and Instagram at the bottom of the description underneath Show More, underneath the video. And you can find my paint pouring recipe there. And uh, if you happen to run across my, my mica powder gold on the Amazon link, where my book is, by the way, also called Because I Can, um, I'll give you that recipe if you ask me for it. The book is the first hundred videos I recorded for YouTube. And... Uh, Yes, I'm still distracted. I wanted something just completely different in there. And I have it. I love the gray tones. I really, I'm so pleased with this, I gotta say. I'm not, I'm not done. I'm just not done. <laughs> I can't stop. I want some white over here. I wanna see what happens with that. Let's put a little white over there just because we can and we have two minutes left. Oh, I got schmutz all over my, my bamboo skewer. Let's do it with a clean skewer and see what that does. So I'm just going to drag that right through there a little bit. Yes, that, uh, that adds some depth actually. That's cool. Should put like a snail at the bottom one of these times. I miss my dots. I really need dots. Fortunately, I have pools of paint over there that I thought I was going to use and then I didn't. So let's, um,
Let's do that. And maybe, because these are fairly quick, we can pull out another canvas and squeeze it in before I'm done. So I'm liking all of that, and you should see it from your side, probably. That would be nice of me, wouldn't it? And uh, I love you guys. There's over 68,000 of you. I appreciate all the contributions you've, you've made to help keep me painting. And if you make another one to uh, help support the studio, you will be entered in the monthly contest drawing for a painting that should be shown on the end screens in the last 20 seconds of this video. And also my playlist of like over 650 videos. The longer you watch, even if you can't contribute to the studio, the longer you watch my videos, the more help you are to me. It tells the YouTube, al the YouTube algorithm yeah, I like putting in the white. I do. Should add some white. <laughs> that timer's gonna go off. This is fun. I recommend this. I have all kinds of black and white paint hanging around. And every time I agitate something, I get a new something something. I like something somethings. <laughs> Most people do. All right, that is probably enough, but I'll keep saying that until, <laughs> until it's true. Can't stop. All right, that tells me I've got two minutes left to tell you guys whatever I'm gonna tell you. And I've already told you that you can buy my paintings in other videos, but I'm telling you again, if you wanna buy a painting, then pay attention to whatever the hashtag and the date are at the end of any YouTube video, and that'll get you, or me, the correct information to help you purchase a painting if you so desire. I also give lessons at the house in Spring Hill and um, we have a ball. I look forward to those. We have a real ball. I wonder if I, can I get white to go in there? That would be neat. I'm so just started playing with this and I haven't even done the gold yet. That's so cool. <laughs> and I haven't torched and you're gonna be gone in a minute. I think I've told you about Pinterest and Instagram at the bottom of the description under the video, but if I haven't, it's under the paint pouring recipe that's also under show more, under the video. I see that thing that does not belong right there. I might touch those up tomorrow, because I'd really like them to be actually black. Anyway, we torched to release the bubbles in the paint. I mentioned that, and also the chances are good, especially with black and white, that we're going to do what you can see now, which is release a whole lot of little cells, patterning cells. I think I can use a whole lot less black paint and a whole lot more tools, chains, basting brushes, skewers to drag things with. I just need a larger canvas. Someday my larger paint working area will come. Anyway. I got 20 seconds to try and figure out what I didn't tell you. Oh yeah, please can I have a thumbs up? It's the other thing that tells the YouTube algorithm to uh, give my, my videos better placement. And um, I guess after you're gone, I'll put a little white paint up the sides. And I hope you can see all that. And maybe if I look now, I'll be able to know that or not. And I can do one more in this series. I love you guys. Oh, there's the whole painting now. All 86,000 of you. I'm kind of in the way, though. This is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard saying, come again, watch some videos. You help me every time you do, and I appreciate you guys endlessly. Take care. Bye for now. See you soon, hopefully in the next video. See ya.